Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. Very nice spot, uh, I like it because it is, well, look at these bricks, they're painted all sorts of nice colors. I think that looks very cool, very unique looking place, isn't it? But, to be honest, that being said, I have no idea where it is. I think, I don't know if that's a flag, but I think this might be a flag over here. No idea what flag that is. That's like a Hungarian flag, and I don't think we are in Hungary. Um, there's also a Chevrolet dealership. So I think we are in Central America, if I had to make a guess. Maybe we're in Mexico. That would be pretty easy if we were. But I'm going to guess we are in uh, Central... Well, I guess we're going to be a little bit more south than that. Somewhere over here. Um, Panama? Hey, sure, let's go with Panama on this one. Panama City? Uh, why the heck not? And the answer was, it was Mexico. I should have guessed that. Uh, well, that's too bad, but uh, there you go. Peral. Hopefully, some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's Daily Challenge location. A lavender field, or it might not be a lavender field. It's a field of flowers of lavender color. Actually... Looks like we are in the Windows XP uh, desktop wallpaper. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. Uh, you know what? Actually, with the release of Windows 10, I was uh, sort of hoping that uh, they would reintroduce a new Lavender Field uh, wallpaper. They didn't, at least as far as I know, uh, do that. I, I, don't know, I thought it would be kind of funny, you know, with the whole re-putting in the start menu and all that kind of nonsense with Windows 10. I was feeling, oh, you know, maybe they'll uh, do some real old school stuff, put in a new Lavender Field. They, uh, in fact, did not, which is uh, not too disappointing. Oh, no, it was a grassy field. The lavender field was Vista. That's right. That's right. Was it a... Yeah, it was a grassy field with XP and lavender field with Vista. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? I've completely forgotten how things go. Anyways, uh, hopefully... Uh, well, this is the daily challenge. Hopefully some of you guys have an idea where in the world we could be because that's the whole point. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below. Uh, tell me where in the world you think this is. And in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won. So if you are interested in becoming the day's top geoguesser, then tell me where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by someone new descending in viewer challenges, and that would be none other than our good friend, Reed Vux, Ready Vux, I don't know, I feel like Ready Vux has a really nice cadence to it, but the E is not capitalized, so I don't think it's Red E Vux or Ready Vux, Reed Vux, Red Vux, mm, hard to tell. I'm going to say Ready Vux because I like the cadence of it. I feel like uh, that uh, like it rolls off the tongue nicely. But regardless of the way you choose to pronounce your username, thank you so much for sending this one in. I am excited to give it a shot. This one has no theme. Not just no theme, but uh, no theme stated at all, which means there may be a secret theme on there. We'll find out if there is or if this is or if there isn't. But regardless, thank you so much for sending this one in. If you're interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in the description below, find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge, and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one, so you can play along yourself. Alright, so, we are in a plane that, well, it is an Emirates plane, which is nice. Um, okay, yeah, it's a, that's a good thing. So, we are in an Emirates plane. And it's completely empty, and, uh, the, wow, windows are huge. Is this what an, is this what an, uh, 787 looks like? Maybe. Because those windows are huge, huge, huge windows. Maybe this is what a 787 looks like. You know, I gotta be honest, I, I don't know. Oh, hold on, there's a staircase. Oh, this is what an A380 looks like? Oh, Interesting. Um, okay, yeah, this is what in the, oh, so I guess that's one floor of it. All right, so this is, uh, well, that doesn't seem to be, ah, okay, I can see. There's the staircase. Can't seem to be able to go up there. I'd like it if we could. That'd be nice. 
All right, so we are on a uh, A380, and we seem to be on a Emirates airline. And let me tell you, doesn't look good. Like, the color scheme here is just awful. I mean, it's a huge plane, I'll give it that much. Four in the middle, and I don't know, like, whoever designed these colors, seriously, I mean, I don't know. The seats are a green type color, and the purple and, like, red... I mean, Emirates planes are supposed to be nice, but I guess that's uh, maybe only the secret upstairs area, uh, which is nice. The area up here, the area of dreams. But, oh, okay, look at that. There's actually, um, oh, ooh, oh, wow, look at this. Now, see, this is uh, this is where the fun is at. I wonder if you're even allowed to come up here. You know what? I doubt you are. I doubt you're allowed to um, come up here. Actually, yeah, this isn't a bar that you buy stuff at, I bet you. Oh, man. Now, look at this. So, these, look at these seats. Oh, okay, can't zoom out. Wow. Now, this is pretty sweet, I got to admit. Nice little place to put, like, several drinks, a weird little tablet. Oh, a nice-looking chair. I mean, now this. God, it even looks like, like these are coffee machines. Really nice screens and stuff like that. You really want to have a window seat. God. The aisle seats look way, way worse. And you come up here, and uh, all right. So these are the these are the suites here. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, w is it worth fifteen thousand dollars to be flying here? No, I would say uh, it's it's not worth fifteen thousand dollars to be flying in one of these. Yeah, do not disturb. Well, I mean, if anyone walks by, they're walking. I mean, I'm pretty sure. These are not human height. I'm pretty sure the the camera right now is human height. So there is that. But man, that that would be pretty nice. I mean, that looks like a pretty luxurious seat. You got a full pillow. I don't know if it reclines back, but if it does, that's really nice. Big TV screen up there, little uh, like, you know, tablet. It looks like a tablet for children, Pringles. I mean, yeah. That's uh that's that's really nice. That's that's for sure. So I'm going to say, yeah, that, that's pretty good. It's probably worth it. I mean, I don't know how much it costs. It probably costs like $5,000 for a flight on this one. I mean, I'm just pretending um, to know what a flight would cost. I mean, how much is a flight from JFK to Dubai? I mean, already in like regular class, that's going to be like $2,000. Up here, you might be looking at eight, And in something like uh, up front over there, you might be looking at twenty five k. Is it worth twenty five k to fly in that? I'll be honest with you, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. The plane looks a lot nicer up here than it did down there. I really do like the windows. I mean, that that is a nice thing. Good plane. Uh, so, uh, where are we? Well, we are, um, you know, we're circling. We're, we're, I don't think we're in the air. I think we're at uh, the Dubai airport. No, we'll be at the Abu Dhabi airport. So, where is the airport? It's here. No, it's an air base. Is there an airport? Abu Dhabi International Airport. That's where we'll be. No, we were at the uh, Dubai International Airport. Well, should have guessed that. That was pretty easy. Uh, but I went with Abu Dhabi instead. Oh. So the theme here appears to be... Um, the theme here appears to be... Like... Um, airplanes. Alright. That's actually pretty cool. So... Um, celebrating Canadian aviation. Are we at the... Canadian Aviation Museum, a place I have been to many, many times. Well, I got to admit that immediately right off the bat, I'm uncertain if we are or aren't there. It's actually a little bit hard to tell um, because we're not in the regular museum area. You might be in like that one weird warehouse that they have off to the side. But uh, this this does look like this does look like that. I mean, you see these signs over here all over the damn city. If I'm being honest, so I'd be surprised if we weren't at the aviation museum. I've been to the. I mean, this is this is not the normal part of the aviation museum. This is like some sort of weird area. There is this kind of like a warehouse off to the side. So maybe maybe that's what this is. I mean, it's all about. Um, yeah, okay, it's all about Ontario, a world leader in sustainable forest management. I mean, I, I understand that. Is it really a world leader in sustainable forest management? Forest management? I mean, I guess. Ontario does have a lot of forest, so it probably should be. 
If I could only see outside, I would have an idea where we actually were. But this looks like this looks like a warehouse where they just store a bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, this is like a, a weird. Actually, what is what is this thing we've got right here? This is like a warehouse. Okay, interesting. Maybe this is like another aviation museum. Ah, uh, well, you know what? It, it hold on. Actually, I think we could actually see out of it at one point. See, all right, this is interesting. So we are in, we, we're not at the Aviation Museum, we're at some other kind of aviation area. Okay, well, that is interesting. Then in that case, I'm going to say we are in, or, or, so we're not at the Aviation Museum. I'll point you out where the Aviation Museum is here. Uh, it's actually right over here. And I was thinking maybe we were in like this warehouse here, a place that I actually haven't really been in uh, very many times. I haven't been in this thing. But taking a look out of it and seeing these kind of like bollards and whatever the hell you would call that. I don't think that that's where we are because it looks like we're actually like near the water. So we're like on the water or something. So that's interesting to me. We're somewhere on, on the water. Engine, test cell. So... The, the question remains, where in the world are we really? And the Ontario Yellowbirds, um, based at Sault Ste. Marie. Do I think we're in Sault Ste. Marie? That's a possibility that we would be in Sault Ste. Marie. This, that's not how, yeah. So this is not how the Aviation Museum looks on the outside. So we're just in another Aviation Museum. Now, I've been to the Aviation Museum plenty of times um, because uh, I used to go to a summer camp there. It was an okay summer camp as far as uh, everyday summer camp goes. I found it to be... There was no swimming involved, so it wasn't as good as the ones hosted at uh, any of the uh, local universities in the city, uh, but it wasn't as bad as some others. So... Uh, where could we be? Well, if we are in Sault Ste. Marie, then that would mean we would be right over here. Which is definitely possible. I don't know exactly where we would be, but uh, City... Uh, Canadian Bush Plain Heritage Center. Alright, we found it. And the answer was that was indeed it. Great. 6478. Oh, God. Where are we now? Oh, are we at some sort of airplane graveyard? Jeez, it looks like it. This is really cool. Look at this. Look at the engines on that plane. Man. I think a thing like that actually flew at one point. Wow, that's pretty cool as well. Man, what a bunch of... Oh, jeez, look at that. Man, planes like this are really cool. It's too bad the windows are all, like, grayed out. Are they, like, made of plastic, or are they just... I have no idea. Do they... Maybe they just don't want people to go inside... Maybe these planes are like fake replicas, but that's really cool. So we're at some sort of like airplane graveyard somewhere. Is that what this is? NASA. Oh, God, look at this hideous contraption. That looks like it's made out of plaster. United States Navy. Well, we're somewhere very dry uh, so that the planes... So, I mean, I'm guessing it probably needs to be really dry if you're going to store airplanes outside. Somewhere like uh, the desert in Nevada. Somewhere maybe like an Arizona. At least that's what I'm thinking. So wh where's a dry place? Well, we pretty much got that. Trying to navigate around, maybe find somewhere to go. I mean, this is, uh, this is pretty sweet right here. Stop. Restricted area. Okay. Well, restricted areas, that's a good sign. Uh, well, we can, I guess we can leave. We can't really leave. Hmm. So the real question is, where is this going to be? Considering we can't really, well, I can click on that. I have no idea. Can I just click forward and bring us somewhere? Mm, I don't think we can. I can go this way. All right, well, we'll see. What is, uh, what is over here? We've got a bunch of people laying down some wet cement and really not much more to see if I'm being honest with you. All right, speed limit is five. 
So what does that say? It said like Lloyd Construction Company. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see that. Lloyd, and I, I really feel like it should say something right down there, but I don't think it does. What's the area code? That's a 1-800 number, it looks like. All right. I'm going to guess that this is in, uh, that this is in, am I going to guess that this is in Nevada? Uh, I guess I will. All right. Nevada, Arizona. This would be sort of like around here, just south of Boulder City. The answer was, you know, it was in Arizona, just uh, around near Tucson. Uh, that was the Davis M Monthan Air Force Base, or actually the Pima Air and Space Museum. So there definitely is a theme on this one, unless this one just goes and says, ah, no, we're not going to be anywhere. South Keys Shopping Center. <laughs> okay. Well, I know where we are. Uh, we are near the South Keys Shopping Center in good old-fashioned Ottawa. So uh, that's very interesting. This is where, uh, this is probably the area I'm most familiar with because uh, right over here is where you get off the bus to go here. Uh, and this is uh, South Keys, a mall that I uh, don't really ever go to uh, too often. I have definitely been to this future shop before. So that's something that I've done, definitely. Uh, now, of course, it is a Best Buy. Well, that's not really, of course. Uh, all the future shops in Canada closed and are now uh, either Best Buys or, or closed. One of the two. So I have uh, I've been to that. Now, where's the movie theater? That's another place that I've been to a few times over here. Uh, there is just mostly no reason for me to ever come here. Ah, here it is. Jeez, they really still have Cineplex Odeon branding on the outside of that thing? My God. All right, well, let's go, uh, let's go down here to, uh, let's go to the old movie theater, I guess, right beside the uh, Montanas. No, we can't go inside? All right, if you say so. Can we go inside this way? No? Well, there you go, there's a movie theater. I know I've been there a few times. Although, um, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's, it's not a sketchy place. Actually, as far as, as far as movie theaters go, it, it kind of is, <laughs> at least as far as I've heard. Uh, so I don't really, I don't really go there too often. Mostly, but this is because it's it's pretty far from uh, it's pretty far from the city actually, from uh, the downtown area, which is kind of the area that uh, that I live in. So it's uh, it is quite a long bus to get here. In fact, I am. Well, I mean, I'm. Are we? Are we in Bank and Walkley? Is that where we are? Oh, jeez, we are on Bank and Walkley. Uh, this isn't. This is no way. To take to get uh, to get uh, downtown, but I guess we, you know, if we really put our minds to it, we can go all the way down Bank and we can find ourselves downtown. So we might as well actually uh, do that. I have no idea how long it's going to take by just clicking a bunch of times, but uh, actually, this is pretty good right here. I believe Hummingbird Medi Spa, really. Well, uh, this area right over here, I believe that this is uh, where I had, uh, where I went for my orthodontist when I was a child and had braces. I believe it was in this building. Unsure of that, but uh, there you go. So we are now, uh, fi we now find ourselves at good old uh, Billings Bridge. So Billings Bridge is a place that I've been to uh, quite more often. There you go, Billings Bridge. Um, oh, there you go. There's a Harvey's over here. I remember uh, biking from uh, from school all the way to this uh, orthodontist area before, and uh, I was very dehydrated. I hadn't drank any water, and I felt like I was gonna die. And I remember stopping at this Harvey's over here uh, for a uh, for a cup of water, and uh, that was nice. Now uh, it was a pretty nice bike ride to go from the downtown area, uh, bike alongside the river. You could come over here. Uh, when I was a young child, and uh, my mother would take me uh, and my friends for bike rides, one of the things we would do is we would go do the bike ride and then stop over at this Dairy Queen uh, right here for an ice cream cone, and then we'd bike all the way back alongside the river. That was quite a nice, uh, quite a nice little bike ride. Um, very, very nice. Now we're, we're coming over here in a neighborhood called the Glebe. This is a um, sort of. Uh, uh, fancy neighborhood 
or at least they consider themselves very fancy. It's, I mean, it's all right. It's, 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 and it's a nice neighborhood, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of construction going on here right now. It is a nice neighborhood. In fact, I don't know if you cut really call, do you call that area over there the Glebe or is it just before the river? You know what? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I don't live in the Glebe, so I, I don't really know. Uh, but uh, this area over here is pretty interesting. This is, uh, this is uh, where, this is, I guess it's called TD Place. That's the name of this place. This is Lansdowne, uh, Lansdowne Park. The uh, the Whole Foods in uh, the city is over here. So there you go. If that gives you an indication of uh, the uh, type of people that uh, live in the Glebe, then uh, there you go. And uh, there's, um, I, well, I used to, the place used to be called Frank Clair Stadium, where I think the Ottawa 67s still play there, and the um, Ottawa Red Red Blacks still uh, play there currently right now. Uh, there you go. So uh, for uh, for football, and I think the 67s might play there as well for uh, provincial uh, hockey. So uh, there you go. Interesting stuff. So we keep on going down, uh, down this uh, area over there. Yeah, here we're definitely in the Glebe. Here's where I know that we're in the Glebe. I just don't know if uh, the area across the river is still called the Glebe. I, I mean, sorry, across the canal. I would say it probably is not. Um, there's uh, the works over here. They make good hamburgers there. Uh, there you are. All right, now we're crossing under the highway. So now we're no longer in the Glebe. So there you go. Although, no, that's right. No, the, the, we're just on Bank Street here. So we're no longer uh, in the Glebe right now. We've started entering, uh, I mean, I don't know, I guess Center Town is a better way to describe this area. Uh, kind of. And we're getting real close to downtown at this point. Um, this is, uh, this place over here is a place where you can go play uh, pool billiards if you're interested in that um pretty good uh what else is down here now we're getting real close i mean now we're getting to uh the kind of thing where like uh, you're pretty much all the way uh downtown and uh you know we've made it here are the parliament buildings right over here and uh there you go pretty much uh pretty much uh downtown all right very nice and here we've got um here we've got uh, some cool stuff. What else do we have? Uh, this is uh, right over here. We got the old uh, Byward Market. A great place to buy uh, maple syrup, flowers, and fresh produce. All that other stuff right now. In fact, these ones this is usually like maple syrup stalls. To be honest, I never bought maple syrup there. Flower stalls over there, over here, and stuff like that. And usually fresh produce all the way down there. Uh, so uh, very, very cool indeed. So where were we? We were in uh, South Keys. Um, South Keys would be... Hell is South Keys. South Keys is hard to find because I never go there. Uh, Billings Bridge, Alta Vista, it's here. This is South Keys. Best Buy. Yeah, that would be it. Uh, so we were uh, here. Yeah, pretty much. 64, 48. All right, great. Now where are we? Now that place had nothing to do with airplanes. The first three did. But uh, this one, nope, no airplanes. Just a cool place. All right, so I guess that maybe is why there was no theme. No, a few uh, aviation-themed areas, and then uh, the last two were just uh, not, not, not as much. So where the heck are we right now? Well, Italy is what I'm feeling because of the license plates and because of the look of the area in general, although I will need to see something. I might be wrong over that. Uh, that doesn't really help me if I'm being honest. I, I don't know. Nothing there really seems. Okay, actually, let's go over here. And what does this say? That, is there anything I can really read on there? Nothing that gives me a location. Maybe this big billboard sign over here uh, will tell me a little bit about .com. Really, really wish. Well, I still feel like we are in Italy, but I want to know. I want to know where. So we've hit a wall, although we can go down here. And this is, it's very nice. 
Oh, okay, we're going up like a sort of a dark passageway. That's interesting. And we have found ourselves... I don't know where we found ourselves. We found ourselves... Well, oh, look at that, a dog. We got some beautiful views, but like this is really interesting. Mostly because it's um there's no flags oh santa claus climbing the the railing there it's really interesting it's like a really built up area but then you get big open like farming as well at the same time i mean that that feels to me like it's uh like that's pretty cool all right i guess we're gonna go up again oh i thought we had already been up all right well uh, then this time we're gonna go this way over here and i think we've ended back up at the beginning near this big is it a church, a monastery, or whatever it is? It uh, it does look very, very cool. Still uh, does raise the question as to where we could possibly be. I'm going to say that I do think it's Italy. I mean, the license plates were really the main reason why I thought that in the first place. The language feels about right, although it's, I need to always see more because I... It, it, you know, it can only help me to a certain extent uh, figure things out. I'm not, uh, I'm not that good at the old, at the old language game. Although, hold on, let's take a look. Is that a flag? A flag of what? It's like a yellow and black flag. Well, that actually doesn't really help me. But a uh, trattoria. Oh, that feels like, uh, that feels right for if this was indeed. Uh, if this was indeed Italy. And what do we have here? Well, let's look at this sign over here. We could be like somewhere like Malta. I mean, that's that's a possibility I'm thinking of. Um, no, nothing, nothing comes right up. Uh, there's the espresso beans. Or like that was an espresso truck. Well, that actually does help. Uh, Palermo. Isn't that... No, that's not the name of... Uh, Palermo. Okay, so I think we're in uh, Sicily. Alright, so... Palermo and... Where else was the other name of the, the name of the other place? Well, then let's say we were... We are... Right, let's say we're inland. Uh, Corleone. That's a nice looking place. But the answer was um, Piazza Armarina. Well, there you go. 3173. End of the right uh, right idea. Sicily was where we were. Oh, okay. Catania is all the way over here. I was looking near uh, Palermo. Oh, okay. Very cool. 3173. Well, hopefully uh, you guys uh, have enjoyed this episode. I know I, know I certainly have. Started off on a uh, A380 in dubai then we went off to uh a bush plane museum in sault st marie then we went to an airplane lot in tucson arizona then we went to the south keys shopping center here in beautiful ottawa ontario then we went to uh, none other than uh, a beautiful city in sicily 21606 hopefully you guys have enjoyed i know i certainly have and as always I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Aw, oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one.